Hello everyone, my name is Katrina Tan from UP Los Baños and I'm here to give you a brief introduction to my essay published in Akda. So the title of my article is Lumad Image Making in Baboy Halas Through Intercultural Filmmaking. It focuses on analyzing this film directed by Bagane Fiola and which premiered in 2016 at the Q Cinema International Film Festival. So in my essay, I examined Baboy Halas, which is about the Matigsalog Lumad located in Marilog Davao City, but particularly the collaborative production process between the non-Indigenous filmmaker and the Indigenous community in creating their screen images. Such is an example of intercultural filmmaking where two parties from different cultures collaborate. In the paper, I discussed how this mode is one of the ways in which indigenous groups are represented on screen, particularly uh, on Philippine cinema, and the other modes being the indigenous authored and the non-indigenous authored films. In my paper, I discuss how intercultural filmmaking allows the Matigsalug Lumad to enact their cinematic agency in constructing their identities in Philippine cinema. Although the Matigsalug Lumad did not have a full control on all the production aspects, my analysis points out their various roles in the film, which I discussed in detail in the paper. So these roles are crucial inputs in the resulting representation of the Matigsalug Lumad in Baboy Halas. I also discussed the mutual learnings by the indigenous groups and non-indigenous director from their collaboration and outlined the process in which intercultural filmmaking enables groups from different cultures to forge connections and cultivate ethical relations. Lastly, my paper contains a discussion of intercultural filmmaking as a non-colonizing film practice. Thank you and happy reading. Feel free also to send any questions or comments about my essay. Mm -hmm.